Buddy, say hi. Can you say hi? Let's turn this on. Oh gosh. Say hi, Buddy. He just went for a walk, so that's why he's breathing so heavily. from Paris. Ooh. <laughs> you say hi? Oh, wait for everybody to get on. How are we doing during quarantine? Um, we're all right. Trying to keep busy. people to ask us questions on his Instagram and on our YouTube. So I'll read some of those questions in a little bit once we get a few more people on here. Should we show your bandana? Oh, look at this. <laughs> How's everybody else doing during quarantine? Everybody staying safe. Buddy. Should we read some of your questions? He's a fluffy boy. <laughs> he is a fluffy boy. Big and fluffy, thicker than a snicker. Good walk, buddy. Tired you out. Yeah, that's how Benny is. He's getting bored in the house. We can go on walks, but I think he just misses playing with other dogs. We just filmed a video of um, him doing the tricks that he knows. definitely needs to work on his tricks a little bit. He's being stubborn. My buddies, big stubborn baby. Should we read some of the questions that I have? Okay, let's see. How's Benny doing with quarantine? He's loving it. I'm stuck at home now, so he gets to spend every day with me. Dad still has to work, but he's liking the days that he gets to spend with both of us all day. Okay. Let's see, what question should we start with? <clears throat> Does Benny get recognized when out and about? Um, he doesn't get recognized. Um, I don't think he would. I mean, we only have 17,000 subscribers, but it's kind of hard to like, you just see a Britney Smelling dog. I wouldn't like think it's Benny, you know. Um, are you guys working from home at the moment? I'm just stuck at home. I can't really work from home other than like YouTube stuff. And Christian is still at work. What's your favorite type of cat? I only have a favorite type of cat. Let's see here. 
Um, I've had a lot of cats growing up. Um, I'm not against getting a cat. Christian might be a little against getting a cat in the future, but we'll see how that goes later on. How much does Benny weigh? Um, last time I got him weighed, he was about 82 pounds. I would say he's about 85 pounds right now, 90. Um, I don't really understand this question. It says, what's your sister-in-law's name? Her name's Eliana. It says, we never see your husband or your brother. Well, Christian works a lot. I don't know what they mean about my brother. He's never really been in the video. Was a Bernice Mountain Dog yours and Christian's first choice for breed of dogs? Ow. Ooh. Um, Christian's been really wanting a Bernice Mountain Dog, and I think we've told this story before. He's been really wanting a Bernice Mountain Dog, and he grew up with Newfoundlands. Um, so when we got the chance to find Benny, we got him, but we definitely didn't realize like <clears throat> how special this breed is. <laughs> But yeah, I think we probably would maybe get another Bernice Mountain Dog. Otherwise, I kind of want a Golden Retriever. Let's see. Is Benny annoyed with quarantine? No, he's loving every second of it. Do you have a hard time with bath time? Um, sometimes. He'll like get in the tub by himself. Sometimes he'll get all wet and he'll be full of soap and he'll jump out of the bathtub. But other than that, he like isn't too bad with the bath we did just try to like give him a bath outside because our apartment complex has like a hose to spray out like clean cars so we tried using that and he hated it so we'll probably just do the inside um, bath when people first see him are they afraid of him because of his size before they meet him and see that he's friendly um sometimes i know a lot of people are afraid of big dogs um, so they do like get a little nervous around him and usually we'll kind of just like stay back. But I mean, most of the time he really, he'll just like run up to people and sometimes that scares them, but I mean, he, it's not like he's done anything ever. What about grooming? Um, like taking him to the groomer or grooming, like us grooming him. Cause I'll... I, uh, we brush him all the time. He doesn't need a bath often. He is pretty, a, he's pretty much a clean guy. And I read that you shouldn't bathe them very often. Um, he's not been to the groomer yet. I was planning on taking him soon, but I mean, now with everything going on, I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit on the groomer, obviously. Um, do you watch Tucker? Yes, we do watch Tucker. What made you choose a Bernice? Uh, Christian's been wanting a Bernice Mountain Dog for a very long time. And like I said, he grew up with Newfoundland, so he just really likes big fluffy dogs. And he knew about the breed, he just never really like knew much about them. So, but we are very happy we picked a Bernice Mountain Dog. They are very special. If you've never had a Bernice Mountain Dog, I suggest getting one. <laughs> oh yeah, what, my cousin Zach? Is that who that is? <laughs> Benny a long haired burner. I have a long haired burner and a short haired one. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know. He's like medium. I've seen shorter haired ones, but he doesn't have very long hair either. So maybe just medium or it's still growing. I mean, he's still, he's still growing. Zach. <laughs> Zach, do you even work? <laughs> Let's read the next one. How much does the grooming take? I'm planning on taking a Bernice Mountain Dog. I've never been to the groomer with him, so I don't know how long it takes. Oh, gosh. oh right in the face. What? What are your questions? Let's find your questions real quick. You're working right now. 
what working from home background of Benny does Benny still keep in touch with his siblings uh, no he doesn't and can you stop pawing me in the face man I just had surgery Um, the background of Benny is a long story. We've made a video about it. I think it's our question and answers video. So if you want to go watch that, we got him off of Craigslist. Long story short. Um, in one of your older videos, you said you want to move in a house. Will it be in Florida too? Yeah, when we move into a house, it'll most likely be in Florida. We just don't know where exactly in Florida yet. Tell your dog I say hi. Jenny, they say hi. What's Benny's favorite grooming tool? Oh, lots of grooming questions. Um, he doesn't like being groomed. <laughs> uh, we do have the Furminator, which I've, I've read that you're not supposed to use it very often. We just kind of use it when he's having a blowout. Um, otherwise, we have different kinds of rake brushes and stuff. I don't know. I don't really know much about grooming. What is one habit you wish everyone in the household would stop doing? Should we wait for Christian to answer that question? Wait, they can't even see you. I asked a bunch of questions on Instagram. Let's, let's read those ones. Find them, find them. Where are they? Oh, here we go. Why is Benny such a cute boy? Woodies, why are you so cute? You got an answer for them? Because I was born this way. Is it a girl or a boy? It's a boy. Oh, look at that tone. He hears somebody outside. What is it, buddy? Here. Have you ever considered getting another burner as a playmate? Um, we do want another dog at some point, but right now we're in an apartment, so he's big enough takes up the place but maybe when we get a house we would like either another Bernice or I really want a golden retriever what are they doing out there I wish these comments would just stay on my screen um best way to persuade your parents to get a Bernice mountain dog <laughs> I don't know they're a lot of work more work than you actually think. You should do a visiting event with a burner when you're back in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, maybe when we're in Wisconsin, we can do some little like Bernice meetup. We did one in here in um, Florida, near Orlando. We did a Bernice meetup. Um, we do have a video on that too. Maybe a girl for him. Buddies, you want a girlfriend? Can you see? You want a girlfriend, buddy? Benny uh, Bandana is cute on him. Oh, so handsome. What time is it in your place? It is almost 12 o'clock. What does Benny eat on day? I've seen he eats raw foods. Benny was on a raw diet. Um, he isn't anymore just because it was getting to the point where it just like wasn't filling him up and we would fill that bowl like over the top and he just wasn't full and he was starting to like throw up because his stomach was so empty. And as a lot of people know, raw diet is really expensive and we just couldn't keep up with how much he needed to eat with a raw diet. Don't chew on that. So he is back on a dry food. How old is your dog? He'll be two in June. What's your favorite thing about Florida? The weather. But we come from Wisconsin where it's very cold and it snowed yesterday in Wisconsin. So we're very happy we're here in Florida where it's warm. You plan on having kids. We do plan on having kids. Why did you decide to adopt? 
Um, I mean, we just really wanted the dog, and Bernice Mountain Dogs from a breeder cost at least like two thousand dollars, and we just didn't have the money to afford that. But I was looking on Craigslist at diff all different dogs, and then a Bernice Mountain Dog popped up, and I knew Christian had been really wanting a Bernice Mountain Dog, and he was a very decent price, so we decided that we needed to get him. Um. Are you guys planning to keep all 14 Bernice Mountain Dogs? We don't have 14 Bernice Mountain Dogs. That's a whole different channel. That's the second time somebody's asked me that question. We only have Benny, though we would love to have 14 Bernice Mountain Dogs and live on that ranch that those people live on. How often do you brush Benny? Um, I mean, I feel like he should be brushed every day, but I don't got time for that. I would say maybe every week, every two weeks. What temperature do you keep in your house? I think our thing is set to like 75, 76. Except we're like on the, the first floor and our apartment just stays pretty cold. Like right now we have our windows open, but it's not too hot outside right now. Yeah, we do keep our air on. We keep it about 75, 76. Because we know it does get a little hot outside for him. Come here, you big baby. Get on my lap. Blade. I wish I could just take this over to the dog park. And see him play. all the questions I ran out of the questions from Instagram so if anybody has any last questions on here are you planning on having another dog yes we are just after we get a house and we have more room does Benny like ed educational toys um, he likes his smart toys like his puzzles he's just too good at them we need to get him Ooh. We need to get him a harder puzzle because he's too good at him. Ooh, your bandana is soaking wet. He really loves you, yeah. He loves anybody. Right? Should we show them how you're laying? Look at this big old baby. Hey, stop doing on me. How much do you think Benny is going to live? I'm guessing you meant how long do I think Benny will live? I don't know. Let's hope for a very long time. Was Benny easy to train? Mm -hmm. Yes and no. Our problem is, so they say Bernice Mountain Dogs are easy to train. They can be stubborn, but they are willing to, like, they are really willing to learn. We got Benny at eight months, and I don't think his previous owner did much training with him. Like, he just, he barely even knew how to sit when we got him, and he picked up a lot of bad habits, and he had a lot of medical issues when we got him, and our vet even told us that it was going to be very, very, very difficult to train him and, like, break all his bad habits. He does know some tricks, like, he can sit, he does lay down, he does leave it, he does paw, he's good off leash, he does the little like obstacle course in the dog park. He does have his moments. He is a, a big spaz. Um, he gets very, very excited and very hyper. So that, that can be a little hard. Um, but I mean, he is still a baby and he is still learning, so. How old is Benny? He'll be two in June. Is he two years old? He'll be two in June. <laughs> Hi, Benny and family. Great to see. What a great idea for all of us on lockdown. 
yeah, we've been doing more of these live videos knowing that a lot of people are stuck at home, me included. Um, we thought this is a good way just to, you know, entertain people, get people's minds off of what's happening. Um, they, are, they are very sensitive about mistakes or learning. Yelling? I'm not quite sure what that meant. What kind of tricks does he do? Like I said, he does sit, he'll do leave it um, for the most part. He'll lay down, paw. What else do you do? Hmm? You know anything else? Gives lots of love. You are slobbery. What is happening? Look at this. This is all wet from his drool. His bandana is soaking wet. Does he speak? Uh, no, he doesn't speak. He barely, he doesn't bark often. He'll, when we first got him, he didn't bark at all. He'll bark when like people walk by, like the, with their dog, or if someone knocks on our door, he'll like howl, but that's about it. I think he hears a dog walking by right now. So is that your friend? That's your friend. It's a dog that comes to the dog park a lot that he likes to play with. It's a very little, like, I think it's like a Shih Tzu. Very little dog, but he loves him. Um. Let's see. What is Benny's favorite food? Anything. He'll literally eat everything and anything. He does like when I put coconut oil in his bone to eat. Um, he likes peanut butter, he likes carrots. I give him a lot of carrots. Like I'll freeze the carrots and then give it to him so they're like a little harder to eat and take him, take him longer to eat. Keeps him busy. Do you brush his teeth or does the vet do it? The vet doesn't brush his teeth. Um, we have been trying to brush his teeth. We just made a video of us doing it for the first time. He hates it. He, I think he just doesn't like the taste or the smell of the little like toothpaste that we use. Um, but I've been trying to do it more often. And just recently he got something stuck. I don't know where in his mouth. He got something stuck in his mouth for a while that we didn't know about. Um, and he was like coughing and gagging a lot and I didn't know what it was. And then he kept doing this thing like he was trying to get something out of his mouth that he couldn't. And then this like really hard leaf fell out and it had a little bit of blood on it. So I think the leaf was stuck in his mouth, cutting his mouth. So I have been brushing his teeth a little bit more recently just to make sure it doesn't like get infected or anything. But we're keeping an eye on him. If it gets any worse, he'll go right to the vet. But so far he's doing all right. Do you give Benny treats? Of course we give Benny treats. Right, buddy? You get lots of treats. Oh, they say love you. Hi, Benjamin. Love you. You're the best. Oh. Hi from Greece. Look at that tongue. Look at this. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> can you go out for a walk during lockdown? Yeah, we live in a, like, a gated community and we're allowed to just, like, we can walk around and whatever. Does it cost much to maintain him monthly? Um, um, excuse me. Oh <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't cost too much. It cost more in the beginning just because he had a lot of medical issues, but now with just, you know, his big bag of food that we have to pay for. Um, and then we do use a lot of what we make off of YouTube we use to pay for a lot of his stuff. So like toys, treats, um, vet vi visits and stuff. All of our YouTube money has really helped with taking care of him. But I wouldn't say that it's been like super expensive. <laughs> Sloppy tongue. Um, I love watching Benny videos. I'm looking for a new dog. Maybe I'll get a Bernie. They are the best breed, but they are also a lot of work. I would do a ton of research before getting one. Favorite movie? Buddy, what's your favorite movie? 
He doesn't watch movies. I don't know what our favorite movie would be. We've kind of been watching lots of TV shows recently because Christian did have the weekend off and we spent almost the entire weekend just inside watching TV. We watched a whole season of Love is Blind in one day because <laughs> we had nothing to do. Has Benny been in the snow? He has been in the snow. Um, we're originally from Wisconsin. Being Christian are, he is a Floridian, but we brought him to Wisconsin when it was snowing and he got to see it, but he doesn't really care for it. He's a beach dog. Oh, thank you for being so awesome and sharing Benny, who is a ray of sunshine. Oh, buddies. Yeah, crazy ray of sunshine. Beethoven is a good favorite movie. You want to watch Beethoven? Lots of people always think that he is the Beethoven dog, but that is a St. Bernard and not a Bernice. Right? He gets called a St. Bernard. He gets called a Border Collie. Oh! Australian Shepherd. What are you doing? Don't bite me. Not many people in Florida seem to really know much about a Bernice Mountain Dog. Why are you staring at me? You creep. Oh, baby. He's the biggest baby. He's literally, I'm literally holding him like a baby right now. Look at this. Early happy Easter, everybody. I think he wishes he was so small that I could just like hold him like a little puppy. Can you stop biting me? Hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop biting. Where can I adopt a Bernice puppy? Um, ooh. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm sure you can, if you paw me in the face one more time, man kicking you out of this chat. For those of you who don't know, I just had my wisdom teeth taken out and he likes to like paw me in the face all the time, but like with my wisdom teeth recently coming out, my cheeks still really hurt. Stop biting me. We got Benny off Craigslist though, so I don't really know where a breeder would be. I know he was from a breeder in Jacksonville, Florida. Does he get Easter eggs? Um, if we do Easter eggs, I will get him, uh, an, an egg. He does like eating raw eggs, too. Chad keeps going away, so I have to keep pressing it. What color are his eyes? Here, buddy, they want to see you. They're brown. to pet you and be nice and you keep eating me hmm being so nice to you giving you lots of love you got boogers in your eyeballs are you planning on making an easter video of him maybe finding eggs with treats in it that'd be super cute um i did want to make an easter video and i did want to get him like an easter basket i wanted to get christian one and like film them trying to find their Easter basket, but with everything going around, like, um, I just haven't gotten to the store to like get all of that stuff. So I don't think I will do that kind of video. We will go to my parents' house on Easter um, and we'll bring Benny and I'll probably like vlog all of that and make a video. Does he imitate me? I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what it means, but. <laughs> You notice him being hot a lot. I have a Bernice Mountain Dog puppy and he seems hot and restless most of the time. Um, no, we do keep our apartment pretty cool for him. Um, we have like the hardwood floors that he lays down or he'll like go in the bathroom and lay on it because that floor is really cold. But if we're outside too long, he'll show me that he's hot. Like he'll start panting a lot and he'll like, if we're at the dog park, he'll go to the door right away to leave if he's too hot. But. So far, we've done really good with the heat in Florida. And it's not too hot out right now, so the windows are open, letting in a nice breeze. Does he like ice cubes? He does like ice cubes. Right? You eat all the ice cubes. Nobody can see. Do 
windows open so he keeps hearing all the people walking outside. Did you go sit out there, buddy? You want to sit out there? Come here. Ooh. Let's turn you guys around. Come on. Do you want to go sit outside? Hopefully I don't lose connection out here. He's gonna jump up, watch. Oh. What do you see out there, buddy? <laughs> he just likes being nosy and seeing everything outside. My girl likes it cold, 67. Yeah, I would assume, like, I think because he was born here in Florida, he does a little better with the heat, is what I've read. That if they're, like, born somewhere hot, they usually do a little better. Does Benny have his own bed? He used to have his own bed when we got him from his previous owners. But in the first, like, few days, he had diarrhea and pooped all over his bed. So I got him a new bed. And then he peed all over it, so he doesn't get any beds anymore. <laughs> and he likes to lay on the on the like wood floor anyways, because it's cooler. Cause he'll like come cuddle up with us in bed. And he can stay in bed with us as long as he wants, but he'll usually get hot and then leave and sleep on the floor outside our room. What do you see, buddy? Oh, if anybody sees this right here. Yep, Benny did that. Chewed it all up. Like a naughty puppy. Buddy, the chair is gonna fall apart because you ate it. Hey, no, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Look at there's a piece on the ground that he was eating. If you had a chance, would you adopt another dog for Benny and what breed would it be? We would. We will uh, get another dog when we have a house and it'll most likely be another Bernice or a Golden Retriever. <laughs> you trying to get something out there? Oh, I see your chewed up ball is out there. Here, show them that you're a mountain dog. Climb up. Get up. <laughs> Ooh. Dropping stuff. Buddies, what are you doing? You sound like Linda. My grandma? <laughs> Buddy. Sometimes I'll jump up on that one. It looks so weird. What are you doing? <laughs> Benny King of the Table. What are you doing? When we first got him and he was having all his medical issues, he was always like uncomfortable and panting and like anxious. And the one thing that calmed him down was just sitting out on the patio. Does he wake you up and beg you to feed him? He used to, um, <clears throat> he would wake us up earlier and earlier to eat, but now he won't wake us up until Christian's alarm goes off. Yeah, he usually waits until Christian's alarm goes off in the morning. 
And once he hears the alarm, then he knows that he can come in and beg us for some breakfast. <laughs> Penny. You enjoying the cool day? You're not coming up here. Hey, hey, don't eat the leaves. That caused you issue last time. He is one and a half. He'll be two in June. Wait, you wanna come on this one? <laughs> oh, so naughty. Look at you, mountain dog. Does he prefer to stay on floor tiles or wooden floor? Um, he does really like laying in our bathroom, which is tile, but he doesn't, he, well, he's not trusted in the bathroom because he eats the toilet paper. So he has to just stick with the hardwood floor. Ooh. How much dry food does Benny eat in a day? Um, he was getting four cups a day, so two in the morning and two at night. And then he was kind of getting a little chunky. So he's at one and a half in the morning and one and a half at night. Look at that turkey leg. Is he full grown? He's, I don't think he's full grown yet. They say that they don't stop growing until around three, but he will be some, on like the smaller side. Oh yeah, Benny will, if we leave the garbage can out, he will get into the garbage. So now that goes into the closet because he'll just eat everything in the garbage. He eats the toilet paper, any paper, he'll eat it. Do you struggle with getting enough exercise? Um, I don't think so. We go on, no, I shouldn't have sat down. We go on plenty of walks with him. Um, hold on, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Come here, boys, you wanna come back up? We go on lots of walks with him. Um, we take him to the dog park. We'll do like uh, brain games with him, like we have puzzles and stuff. Um, he definitely needs to work his brain a lot. And like sometimes he just wants to be outside and sniff forever. And then, then he usually does better. No, we're not doing this again. You're not biting at me. Will you do a 24 hour challenge? Like what kind of 24 hour challenge? How often does he go to the vet? Um, when we first got him, he was going like pretty much every single week because of all his medical issues. Um, we just got him some of his recent shots that he needed to get, and he hasn't been to the vet since, which it's been less than a year. So um, he does need to go soon. Um, I think he's due for one more shot, and he just needs like a checkup. Like he's got really stinky ears that need to be cleaned out. And if his like mouth um, thing gets worse, he'll definitely be going to the vet. But he for sure needs a checkup. We're just looking for a new vet. I don't like the vet that we had, so I've been looking for a new one. How big is your apartment and how would you recommend, how, how much would you recommend for a dog of his size? Um, that's a hard question because I mean, we don't have the biggest apartment, but there's plenty of room for him. Just because he's big, I don't think he really needs that much room. It's not like he's sprinting around the apartment. Like we go outside, he plays in our little dog park and he plays in that little thing off leash. And when he's inside, he just lays around. Like he doesn't really, and he wants to be right by us, like on top of us. So he, I don't really think he needs that much space. But I mean, that's just Brittany's mound dog and that's just Benny. Um, we do have a 24 hour challenge, like for example, a 23 hour challenge staying outside all day. I mean, I would be up for doing a 24 hour challenge. I don't know what we would do right now just because of everything that's going on. Can't really
really go many places or like, I don't know, I try not to go to the store if I don't need to. Cause really the only places we go are Christian goes to work, I'll go to the store when we need stuff or we like go to my parents' house. That's pretty much it. Buddy, your paws need to be trimmed up. There is hair everywhere. Oh, where do you work? Um, I work with children. That's all I'm gonna say about my job. Does he drink out of the toilet? Um, I think I've seen him a couple times when we first got him, but not really. He drinks out of his bowl, yeah. <laughs> see you now. Look at these little effects on here. Oopsies. Are the pads on Benny's feet rough? Uh, they used to be. They were super, super rough when we got him. They looked like they were in pain. So we got him dog shoes because I think it was because the pavement of our old apartment was so hot. And like, I think it was just really hurting his paws. So we got him little dog shoes to wear outside on walks. But now that we moved and like we have a normal sidewalk, his paws are a lot better. Does he play well with other dogs? He does play well with other dogs. Um, he has been attacked a couple times and one of the times was pretty bad. So I think he does get a little like I don't know, he'll get a little cautious with dogs, especially if they like bark at him. He has learned to stand up for himself because he was attacked. Um, and a lot of the dogs in our apartment complex are very little. So he'll like go to play with them, but like he thinks he's very little and ends up just like squishing them. So I get worried that like on accident, he's going to hurt them. Do you put anything on his paws? Um, I was back when they were like all rough. I think I was doing like coconut oil and stuff, but I mean, they're fine now, so. Blue jeans. <laughs> See if I missed anything. Oh, goodness. <coughs> oh. Bless you. My burner also accidentally squishes when playing. <laughs> I think he just thinks he's little, so like he and he loves little dogs. But like he doesn't realize how strong he is and that he can just like completely knock them down and sit on them. Will you do an Easter video with Benny? Um, I just answered that question. Normally I would have planned a whole Easter video. I would have gotten him an Easter basket. I would have gotten Christian an Easter basket. But with everything going on and like not really needing to go to the store. It's not really an essential thing that we need. Stop biting. No bite. <laughs> How does he do with little kids? Um, he does fine with little kids. He just knocks them down. Like, I think he runs at them like he's super excited, like a normal person, and will knock them down. Ow, stop biting me. So like, with little kids, um, I normally will be cautious about it, like lift them up and like let him eat them before he just tramples over the child. Stop biting me. Stop. No bite. He's like, I don't know what that means, mom. I just want to eat your hands. What are your ideas for future videos when quarantine is over? Um, we actually have a lot of video ideas, which sucks that we can't do them. And now that it's nice out, like I wanted to get him a life jacket because if you've seen his swimming videos, he is not the best at swimming. I wanted to get him a life jacket and do a video of testing that out. I thought that'd be really fun. Um, we had other ideas of videos like for us to do that don't involve that Benny. I know some people aren't big fans of those, but we do have some fans now that we switched the channel. Um, we were gonna do a video where we go to Goodwill and pick out outfits for each other. 
and then have to wear the outfits bowling we saw that on a TikTok that we wanted to try um is benny teething no he's not teething he's just being sassy brenners just like to chew on things he normally doesn't bite on my hands he'll normally bite on christian's hands but whenever we do these live videos he is constantly eating my hands I'm gonna partly blame Eliana because she likes to roughhouse with him and like she'll like do this with him. I think that got him into biting more. So we're gonna blame her. Goodness gracious. You getting sleepy? He's not even in the video anymore. He's right here. Woody, say hi. How does Benny do on hikes? Um, we haven't really taken him on any hikes. It's just too hot. He doesn't really last very long outside. In general, he doesn't last very long. Like, he won't run very long, and like, he gets he gets pretty tired fast. But, um, we would have to do a hike like during the winter because he would not be able to last more than like 20 minutes on a hot day. Um, you should get Benny some puppy. Oh, puppy dye to apply to your dog's white fur. We do sometimes put like chalk right here. Like he had pink chalk on him and then he had blue chalk. Socks, man. Okay, buddy. We don't need that. Have you ever been to Europe? We have not been to Europe. We would love to go one day. I don't know what my hair is doing right here. What is happening? I thought it was going to rain earlier, and he loves playing in the rain, but it did not rain. Do you work with special needs children? I do not work with special needs children. Um, this dog brings me joy. Oh, buddy, you make them so happy. Don't paw me in the face. He needs like, he needs like a shield. Block me from this savage. Have you ever dyed your hair? Meaning my hair? Yes, a lot. As you can see, it is growing out because I dyed it too much. I went very white blonde and now we need to let it grow out and heal because my hair normally is not this short, but it is so dead right now. Um, have you stayed in a pet friendly hotel? I have not. What is up with this piece right here? Do you know any Bernice Mountain Dog breeders in Canada? No, I don't know any Bernice Mountain Dog breeders. We didn't even get him from a breeder. I mean, he originally was from one, but we got him off of Craigslist. Benny needs a little pet friend. I mean, I've been asking for a cat, but somebody won't get us one, so. Right? Dad didn't want a cat. You and Benny having matching hair. Ow, ow. Do you have any ideas of how to tie your dog outdoors? Um, ball, like throw the ball, run around. He loves chasing us, but Benny gets pretty tired really fast. So where do you live enforce pet policies? Uh, yeah. What kind of policies are you asking about? How much do you walk Benny every day? Um, it depends. 
if it's like I said, if it's really hot, we'll only walk for a little bit, maybe like a couple times. Um, now that I'm off, he's gone on like two or three walks in a day just because we're bored. But usually we'll go for a walk when I get home from work, um, like around our apartment complex. And then when dad gets home a little later, we'll go outside and he'll like run around with him. He needed way more exercise when we first got him, but after he turned about one, he's definitely calmed down and doesn't need like too much to calm him down now. Oh, oh. You are all slobbery. Stop panting. You're all right. It's all right. <laughs> he's an anxious guy. Even see you. Stop it. Stop biting me. Uh uh. What do you do all day with Benny? Um, normally I'm not here all day with Benny, <laughs> but he normally sleeps all day just because both of us are at work. So he isn't used to just sleeping all day. So when I'm home, we'll go on some extra walks, but um, he normally just sleeps all day. Sorry, I'm trying to read. They keep like going away. How much did Benny cost? And also, how old are you and Christian? And where are you all from? Um, Benny was seven hundred dollars off Craigslist, but then we spent a ton on his medical bills, which we won't get into that. But. I'm 27, Christian is 26, and we're from Wisconsin, but live in Florida. Do you have any pet bed recommendations? Um, no, I don't have any pet bed recommendations. We've never gotten him a bed. He got one when he was, his previous owners gave us his old bed, but he pooped all over it. So he just prefers to sleep on the wood floor. It's just cooler for him. Um, he is allowed to sleep in our bed. He will cuddle with us like at, right before we go to sleep and like right in the morning, but he doesn't stay with us very long. I think it gets too hot. How did he get his name? Um, his previous owners named him. I thought about changing it because I personally just didn't really like the name Benny. Um, but Christian really liked it, so we kept it and like now that's just his name. But we also call him Benjamin too, so... Do you have any harness or collar recommendations? We use, and I'm sure you've seen it in some of our pictures. Oh, here, I'll go get it. We use this one. And so like this goes over his head and this will be on his chest. And then, oh no, other way, sorry. This will go back in here and this goes on top. I can like hold him back then because it'll go on his back. So if he's getting a little crazy, like I can hold him back from people and then we clip it on the front on his chest. So like if he pulls too hard, it'll like turn him around because we used to have a huge problem with pulling. But this is his second one now and I just like this one because of this top part here that I can like grab him and hold him back. How old is Benny? He's almost two. Does he stay indoors a lot because of the stay at home rule? Uh, no, I take him out for walks and we take him to our little apartment dog park all the time. I'm not going to keep him inside all day. Like, that's not good for him. Why did you have him neutered? Um, long story short, he had an enlarged prostate, which is causing an infection in his bladder, which was causing him to pee blood. So we had to get him neutered earlier than we wanted to. I think we neutered him at 10 months, um, but it fixed the problem. Ooh, I'm falling behind on these comments. What brand of leash do you use? I'll go grab that one. <laughs> we're confusing him. He thinks we're going on walks. So this is the one we use. I don't know what brand it is. I know, you love your leash. It's just like a thicker rope. I bought it like the week two weeks after we got him because his leash <laughs> no. I bought it like 
We're not going on a walk. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no way. We're not going on a walk. I'm sorry. Here, go play with it over there. Put you in the camera. I'm so sorry. I, I tricked you. So sorry. Falling behind on these comments now. So yeah, I like the thicker leash, just it's easier to hold. I feel stronger. He is a very strong dog. Um, how does ben Benny react when new people come over to your place? So we're in Florida. We don't, um, everybody that we know is back in Wisconsin. So we don't really have many people over. But when we do, I don't think he's really used to it. So he does get very anxious and excited. I'd love to see Benny with a kitten. Um, I think I posted a video, our our North Carolina video. He does meet a kitten if you want to go watch that that video. Benny, I can't even read the comments. Uh, have any plans for another animal in the house? Yes, we're, we plan on getting another dog. Where did you get the harness and the leash? Uh, the leash, I think I got from PetSmart and the harness I bought off Amazon. Um, if I find the stuff, I will like, I'll start linking them below in our comp in our description. Is Benny talkative? <laughs> right here. <laughs> Woody. Benny looks like a really happy dog. Have you had him since he was a puppy? Does he have siblings? We got him at eight months, um, and I'm sure he has siblings, but we don't know about them. Oh, on a daily basis with a cat. <clears throat> yeah, that's up to Christian if we can get a cat, because he is not a cat person. one like Benny or other I don't know what that means he's on the ground right now you mad that we're not going for a walk now when did the vet recommend to neuter him um I don't know if you read the comment before oh if he didn't have a prostate issue they said to wait a year we were going to wait a year um we actually did think about breeding him as well, but I mean, he's got a lot of issues, so I don't think we could breed him anyways. The other dog, we don't have another dog. Can you do a 360 video? I, I don't know how to do that. Does Benny have papers? What is his whole name? He does have his papers, his name is Benny. We call him Benjamin. When did you stop feeding him puppy food? Uh, we never fed him puppy food. The, the owners gave us a big bag of food they had and it was a really crappy brand. Um, so we did switch him off of that right away. But he's been on adult food since we got him at 10 months. Or no, we got him at eight months, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm like totally trying to read all these comments. What food is best for his breed? Uh, oh, I, I do not know that question. Um, if you join like a Facebook, a Bernie's Mountain Dog Facebook group, there are tons of burner experts on there that you could ask that question. Um, we give him Merrick's. I did a lot of research on Merrick's and it seemed like a pretty good dry brand. Um, one day I would love to go back to raw diet when we can afford it a little more. But until then, he's on the dry food. Do you have a job away from home? I do have a normal job. So I do not spend most of my days with Benny. And a, the YouTube thing is a side thing. Um, has Benny ever had any accidents in the house? Yes, when we first got him and he had the enlarged prostate was causing an infection in the bladder, which would give him a UTI. 
and that was causing him to have accidents. So every day I'd come home from work and he completely peed his crate and he'd have pee all over him. It was a wonderful first two months with him. Which other breed do you plan on plan to have in the house? Like another dog, we'd love to get another burner or we would love to get a golden retriever once we ever get a house, but right now we cannot have another dog. Do you have any issues with separation anxiety when you guys go to work? Um, no. I mean, sometimes he gets a little, he'll get sad and he'll like bark when we leave, but it's nothing too bad. Did you plan on getting Bernice Mountain Dog? We did want to get a Bernice Mountain Dog, just not at the time that we got him at, but when I found him on Craigslist for the price, we kind of thought like we couldn't pass up this opportunity. So at the time, yes, it was a little unexpected to get a dog, but we were wanting to get a Bernice Mountain Dog. Goodness, so many questions, which is good. This is great, just hard keeping up with them. Does Benny have a lot of brothers and sisters? I don't know. I would assume he has some, but they were at the breeder, so I would never, I would not know. Does Benny have a girlfriend? Buddy! Do you got a girlfriend? <laughs> no, he doesn't have a girlfriend. How long can Benny be home alone for? I think the longest he's home alone for is about seven to eight hours. And he gets very excited when we come home from work. Gives us lots of hugs. I do know that breed, yes. I think they're the very, the white, the white dogs. How do you groom him? Um, I just brush him and give him a bath. He doesn't get a bath often. He doesn't need a bath very often. He's not, he stays pretty clean. Otherwise, lots and lots and lots and lots of brushing. But hopefully soon we could take him to the groomer and get like a, he's got like knots by his ears and stuff. And I was waiting for that hot spot to clear up to take him to the groomer. And then this whole shutdown came about. Do you recommend any good toys for your dogs? Um, he loves all toys. Um, if you have a big chewer, we have a giant dinosaur bone which I did a review on it in one of our other videos. He loves that thing. Otherwise, his favorite toy right now is that giant carrot that I bought him on his gotcha day. How is his drooling? It's not as bad as you would think it is, but I mean, he's a slobbery guy, but I feel like it's like normal dog slobber. How long does he shed? He sheds all day, every day. He's a very good boy. Thanks for sharing your videos. Oh, thank you. Do you suggest a Furminator? So I grew up, my mom always used the Furminator. I know lots of other people who always use the Furminator. And then I had recently bought the Furminator and did a video on it and got lots of comments on how bad it is for your dog. Um, I think if you use it the right way and don't use it as often, I think there's no problem with it. We use the Furminator when he's having a blowout just to really get all that out of there. But I have read that like sometimes it can cut them and like hurt their skin. So definitely be gentle with it. Does Benny watch anything on TV? Um, no. One time I did play his video on our TV and he watched it for a little bit. Other than that, maybe he just only likes watching himself. <laughs> Not fluffy and poofy. Buddy, you big poofy guy. Nobody can even see you. This video is about you. Does he have an elevated dog bowl? He does, yes. He's just staring at me right now. <laughs> what? He's like, mom, get off. Let's go for a walk. We were just on one. Is he overweight? 
Um, actually, he is on the smaller side of how much Bernice Mountain Dogs weigh. I think they weigh about 85 to like 120 or 80 to 120, and he is about 80, 85 pounds. He also is still growing. Which one do you suggest for a dog bowl, or where did you get yours? We got off ours off of Amazon. Um, I don't remember the brand. Just It was just a little bit of a raised bowl, and we wanted one that was blue. <laughs> How would you spend your time due to the shutdown if Benny was not with you? Because seeing your videos, you guys are kind of soulmates. Me and Benny? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it'd be very lonely. We did get Benny because when we moved down to Florida, uh, Christian was working a lot, like, and at the time I wasn't working. Um, so I was home alone a lot and it got very, very lonely. So we did get a dog to kind of be home with me while he was working a lot. Once I started working, it got a lot easier, but I guess now that I'm home again, um, it wouldn't be very lonely without Benny. How much exercise do you do with Benny on an average day? Um, I don't have it timed out. We go for maybe one or two walks a day. He'll go to the dog park for a little bit. When dad gets home, he will run around with Benny and play catch. Is he always as happy as he seems in his, his butt? Where are you going? What's happening? Go and come up here. Come here. Is he always as happy as he seems in his videos? He is. He's a very, very happy guy. Wait. I'm breathing right on them. Does Benny have an Instagram? He does have an Instagram. It's BennyBurner19, if you want to follow him. I post lots and lots of videos, like extra videos on there. Um, we do live Instagram videos all the time. So definitely go for there. We do have a TikTok as well. Um, just go to our latest video we've posted and in our description are all the links to all of our different social media. Is Benny camera shy? No, he's fine with the camera. I used to record everything on just my iPhone and then I bought my new camera and he just seems weird about it. Like he just barks at it all the time. So a lot of times when I record his videos, I have to use my phone because we can't get anywhere with the video because he just barks at my camera but we're slowly getting him used to the camera. I'll bring it out and let him smell it sometimes, but it's hard making a video when he just barks at it the whole time. Right? Stinky ears. Will you do a pet photography day with props? Oh no, that I don't think that could work. He's too crazy. Was he always a cuddler? Um, yes, he's always been a cuddler. He's gotten more cuddly as the time has gone on. I think in the beginning, sorry if you can't hear me, in his loud breathing. When we first got him, he was having those medical issues, so he, I think he was just in pain and uncomfortable, so he didn't cuddle as much when we first got him, but he's definitely a cuddler now. Here, Here he is. How often do you brush his teeth? Uh, we just started brushing his teeth a little more. Um, and with the cut in his mouth, I've been trying to brush them a lot more. Why did you decide to do a YouTube video of him? Um, it actually was an accident. I, living in Florida, I'm away from my family and I wanted to make a video that kind of showed what it was like living with Benny. And that video just blew up like blew up. I think we're at 2 million, 2 million views on that video. Um, that video blew up and then like I just kind of kept making them. Like I wanted to make his first birthday video just for fun. I was just making fun videos and then sharing them on YouTube so I could show my family back at home. But they started blowing up and we got monetized so we now I just stick with it. You give Benny the best life he could ever have. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Does he ever foam at the mouth? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen that. How did he get a cut in his mouth? Um, 
I know it's it's a long story. Um, I don't know exactly what happened. I think this really like it was a very thick leaf that had been stuck in his mouth for a while because he was just kind of coughing and all of a sudden something came out of his mouth and it had a little bit of blood on it, like dried up blood. We're assuming that's what happened. Um, this just happened, so we've been keeping an eye on it. And if it gets any worse, like if something goes wrong, we will take him to the vet. Did the breeder warn you of any bad things of Benny which you didn't notice? Uh, we didn't get him from a breeder. We got him from his previous owners who did get him from a breeder and the previous owners didn't warn us about anything about him. Does he regularly pant a lot? He does, he is always panting. He has been panting since the day we got him. <laughs> Your apartment is beautiful, oh thank you. Can give you a little tour of the apartment if you would like. Um, it's not the cleanest right now, but if anybody wants to see the whole apartment, I can show you real quick. Are you gonna try? Are you going to try him out with carding? Um. Oh, I would love to. I don't know where I would get one or how I would do it, but I think that'd be fun. Do you find he always sits by the door? He normally sits right there. He sleeps right here because that's our bed right there and he'll sleep right here on this wood floor watching us at all times do you like going shopping for benny oh i love spending lots of money on him <laughs> even though i can't we do use a lot of his youtube money but to get him like toys and things he needs you pretty much pay for yourself buddy Brittany's Mountain Dogs, um, back in the day, they were used for pulling carts. Um, so they, that's why they're very, they're very strong breed that can carry a lot on their cart. How does he do with the Roomba? Um, he does fine. I mean, sometimes he barks at it or like gets a little weird and like if it comes up and touches him, he'll move, but he doesn't really care. Um, I'm falling behind. I'm so sorry. Do you think he would like a beanbag chair? Oh, interesting. Um, uh, maybe. He does like, again, he likes to lay on this wood floor. Like, he won't even lay on this carpet. What's YouTube's agenda for views and money and stuff? Are you asking, like, what our YouTube agenda is for views and money? Or what do you mean by that question? He hears the neighbor's dog. Look at all that slobber. Like I said earlier, we started this YouTube channel on accident. Um, we were just making fun videos. But I mean, we did get monetized. We do make a little bit of money on YouTube, which we spend mostly on, we use that money to make more videos, I guess, or we use it to pay for things for him, like if he needs to go to the vet or if he needs more food or, we put a lot of the YouTube money back into him and back into this channel. So we would like to grow it a little more so that we could do a little more with him. Um, is he easily scared? Yep, he is afraid of everything. I liked the video where he was afraid. <laughs> and mind you with that video, those clips were taken on different days. It's not like I just tried to like show him these things over and over in one day. They were recorded on different days. 
um, the candle was an accident, and then I knew he was afraid of bubbles. What's his favorite toy? Right now his favorite toy is that giant carrot. He's a beautiful creature, oh thank you. Hopefully it's not too boring just sitting here watching, watching him lay here. He's so cute. Oh boy, do they think you're so cute. He's probably tired now. We did just go for a walk and then I think all this excitement of sitting here on this walk, like video, he's finally tired out. I feel so much better with these answers since our pup is so like Benny. I have a seven month Bernice. <laughs> it's about the same age as when we got Benny. So I know the pain you were going through. He was afraid of bubbles, but not balloons, right? <laughs> like, I don't know how he would react to bubbles now. He might be a little different about him. I thought he'd be afraid of the balloon, but. Will you do a live when you take him for a walk? I can try, I would have to do it on my phone. I don't know how well it will turn out. We do do Instagram lives like at the dog park. So if you go and follow us on Instagram, I sometimes do live videos there too. At first I was scared all the time if our dog was doing something different. And see, so was I, just because I think burners are such a unique breed, they act very differently than a lot of dogs. Um, joining the Bernice Mountain Dog Facebook groups have helped a lot with his breed. Just like realize that, oh, he is doing normal things that his breed is supposed to be doing. He's sleeping. Just do an hour long Facebook live, uh, or I mean Instagram, <laughs> YouTube live of Benny sleeping. When is Benny's birthday? His birthday's on June 1st. No problem, I know it helped me. We definitely had a lot of questions, especially with his medical issues in the beginning. We had lots of questions and we were very worried about him. Benny will be two in June. He's sleeping, he's like, I'm tired of this. Can he do any special tricks? He can. Um, I actually just recorded a video today that I will edit for maybe this weekend or next week of him doing his tricks. Is there any way we can send Benny birthday gifts? Um, I've actually gotten that question quite a bit and nobody has to send us anything ever. Like we are not expecting anybody to send us stuff. Um, we don't have a PO box, which is, everyone always asks us if we do. Um, I would set one up, but we I know we'll be moving in the next year or so, so maybe one day we'll get a P.O. box, but I definitely don't expect anybody to be sending us anything, but it's very, like, very generous of people to do that. I'm very thoughtful. Does he get tired easily? He does. He does get very tired easily. Like, he does need a lot of exercise, but he also doesn't. Like, he just... He gets tired out pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, he heard the plane go by. Do you know about large marble plates you can fill with ice for your dog to remain cool? Um, I haven't. I kind of know what you're talking about. I've seen those mats that stay cool, but so far he hasn't needed them. Are you planning to get another dog after you move? Um, we would love to, yeah. Once we get a bigger house and we get settled in, we would love to get a second dog. How long has this live been going? Oh man, this live has been going on for at least an hour. What do you suggest during hot days to keep him cool? I We keep our temperature in the house pretty cool. Um, he likes eating ice cubes. 
Um, I guess just air conditioning is what we do. We don't really have a hard time with the heat. We got our dog in the winter, so we haven't experienced summer yet. Yeah, we got Benny last February, so a year ago February. And so last year was our first summer in Florida with him. And I was worried about it, but we did pretty good. He warns us whenever he gets really hot. Um, he usually lets us know. We just keep the air on for him. What's the difference to other breeds? Oh man, there are so many differences with his, this breed. The list could go on. Would you get another burner when you get another dog? Um, we've talked about it. It's either we're going to get a Bernice Mountain Dog or a Golden Retriever. When are you planning to end this live? Do you want us to leave? Should we hang up now? <laughs> Getting tired of us? Has Benny ever had fleas? No, he has not had fleas. In a couple of months, I'll be getting a Bernice puppy. Oh, that's so exciting. Definitely um, go to Benny's Instagram and send us pictures of the puppy when you get them. We love, love seeing Bernice Mountain Dog puppies. Look how cute he looks right now. Woody, you're the cutest thing in the whole wide world. Oh. I'm trying to, sorry, keep getting notifications. Do you spray him down in the summer to keep him cool? Um, so at the dog park that we used to go to, they had a little hose to fill up a dog bowl. I would sometimes like dump some of the water on him if we were there pretty long. Um, otherwise, like if it's really, really hot out, like 100 degrees, sometimes it gets in Florida. We just don't go out during like the hot time of the day. I will usually take him out either really early in the morning or we'll go for a walk like in the afternoon. You like German Shepherds. Um, I don't mind German Shepherds. Benny does not like German Shepherds because he got attacked by one once, so he is kind of iffy about them. I like his thinner white stripe. I do too. I do like the thinner, the thinner stripe here. Some dogs have very, very thick white stripes. Could watch the buddies all day. Oh, the buddies. Get a St. Bernard, perfect combo. Mm, I'm not a big fan of St. Bernard's. Not that I know much about the breed. Um, I do see they're very, very drooly. Um, I've just always wanted a Golden Retriever puppy. So I would love the chance to have one. Otherwise, we do want to get a Bernice Mountain Dog puppy, like as a puppy. Because they're so fluffy and cute. And Bernice Mountain Dogs are the best breed. Hmm. <sighs> How often do you groom him? I think I just, <laughs> I've answer, answered this question like 10 times, which is fine. I know people don't know this, but um, he should be brushed like as often as possible. Otherwise he gets matted and he doesn't take a bath very often because he's not that dirty. And I've read that you shouldn't bathe them often. You have a beautiful and lovable voice. <laughs> That's good, at least I'm not annoying over here narrating my sleeping dog. Does Benny like little dogs more? I think he does. I want to say he likes little dogs. He thinks he is a little dog. Do you like pit bulls? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with pit bulls. Golden retrievers are good boys. And golden retrievers are pretty similar in their temperament as Bernice Mountain Dogs. I just have seen that they're not as cuddly as the burner is. Could you do a video baking treats with Benny? I could. I don't know how involved Benny will be in the baking video, but I could try to bake some dog treats. Um, what is the difference to other breeds? I don't think I can answer that question. I, I don't really know much about other breeds. All I know is the breeds that I've had and dogs I've known. 
are literally nothing like a Bernice Mountain Dog. You have to own a Bernice Mountain Dog to really understand how unique they are. Labs are very good too. How did Benny get attacked? Um, he's been attacked a couple times, actually a few times. Um, one was really, really bad. We were just at the dog park and this other dog was there that didn't, they said they didn't really like puppies and at the time he was only like 10 months and he went up and sniffed him and the dog just like took him down and Benny was on his back. And the dog had him at the neck. It was the worst cry I heard come from him ever. Like so, so sad. Um, the dog would not get off of Benny. Uh, another guy at the dog park had to grab the other dog off of Benny. And then I remember like taking Benny away and like into the little like front gate to like block them from each other. And Benny had blood in his mouth, but I think he had just bit his tongue. But like after that, he definitely has learned to stand up for himself. Which worries me because I don't want him to get, I was worried he'd get too aggressive. I didn't want him to be aggressive because of that. He is more aggressive than he used to be. Um, but like if a dog like gets too aggressive with him and like barks at him, he will usually stand down. But yeah. Buddy, what do you see out there? Okay, hold on. Sorry, I'm falling behind on the chat <laughs> buddy right up in everyone's face yeah benny is like bernie's mountain dogs are all very very similar to each other oh gosh sorry everybody let me just catch back up on the comments one second the whole him thinking he's a little dog Buddy, now you're not even in the camera. Benny doesn't seem like he drools too much in your videos. No, he doesn't drool very much. What breed of dog attacked him? The, the really bad one, I don't know what breed it was. Um, the second dog, I don't remember the breed either. I think it had some pit bull and like a, it was like a pit bull mix. And then the third dog that attacked him was... I want, it was a German Shepherd, which he, that's why he's weird about German Shepherds. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Number one fan. I don't know how to pronounce your name. The Mac, Mac, Macenro? Mm, sorry if I can't say your name, but thank you so much. You did not have to do that. Sorry, I'm trying to catch back up with everything. You should bathe them when they're dirty or twice a year, I've read. Um, I obviously will bathe him if he gets dirty, but he doesn't get dirty very often. Twice a year seems a bit low. Um, but I mean, I could be wrong. I am not the expert. Oopsies. Sorry. I'm on my iPad and it keeps like turning off. Ours got attacked because I think our Bernice was so gentle and timid and only wants to play. Yeah, they're very like lovable dogs and like I don't think they really realize like some dogs just don't want you to be by them. Is it possible in your opinion to raise a Bernice Mountain dog in an apartment? Yes, I mean he his whole life has been in the apartment so he does perfectly fine in our apartment. Benny thinking you're now human talks a lot. <laughs> I can go if I'm talking too much. Glad he's standing up for himself. I was worried ours would just be bullied. Yeah, I'm just worried he, I was worried after being attacked, like he would just, you know, get aggressive. I like your voice and the way you talk, thank you. I do get made fun of for the accent that I have, which I mean, I would assume our accent is Midwestern, but. Benny is such a sweetie, I feel bad he got attacked. I know, His, that cry was so sad. I like when you talk for him. <laughs> the funny thing is, is we talk for him even in like real life. Like Christian will say something that he's saying and then like I'll answer him. 
Does he bark a lot? No, only when the, someone knocks the door. It's so awful that he's been attacked three times. Yeah, I know. The first one was the bad one. The other two times, the people, like, got their dog to stop right away. Like, it wasn't, the second two times weren't as bad. The first one was pretty bad. When did you hear his first howl? I think probably when someone like knocked on the door. Your accent sounds, no nor sounds normal to me. Are you Midwest? Are you from the Midwest? Do you have toilet paper? <laughs> yes, we have toilet paper, but I'm worried we're gonna get low soon. We had stocked up a while ago. We'd bought like a big thing from Sam's Club before all this was going on. It was actually your videos that inspired us to get a Bernice. Aw, that's awesome, thank you. Oops, sorry, do not fall out. I talk for my golden retriever too. <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to? Mm, that is a hard question. Pretty much anything. I listen to a lot of kind of music. I wish I would have seen your channel sooner. Oh, perfect time with the quarantine you know binge watch some of our videos <laughs> leave some comments do you think you could do the level up challenge with a penny i don't know what that is what what kind of challenge is that how much does he weigh i want to assume he weighs about 85 pounds now um last time i got him weighed he was 82 we're in the midwest where are you from i'm from michigan we're originally from wisconsin but we just moved to florida about a year a little over a year ago Trump or Hillary or Benny. <laughs> oh, we're going to leave politics out of this. Is Benny purebred? He is purebred. I could go get his little paperwork right now. <laughs> I usually listen to country and pop and electronic. Um, we listen to about everything. Not as much country, um, but my family loves country. So, I mean, I've grown up hearing it. I never heard of a Howl Live 2 when Christian plays the piano. <laughs> Do you have any Netflix ideas for what to watch and can you lift up Benny? Um, so Netflix, if you haven't watched Shit's Creek, that is a very, very, very funny show. We binge watched like the entire show. I think it just ended and I think there's seven seasons. Um, we have the, we still need to watch the last season, but I recommend Schitt's Creek. Um, anything else on Netflix? It's pretty much all we've been watching. Um, can I lift Benny up on my own? No, I cannot. Christian used to be able to and tried recently. He's just, he's just so big. Do you listen to Billie Eilish? Uh, not really, no. Did you move to Florida because of the YouTube video? No, we moved to Florida for Christian's job and we started YouTube after. It's a TikTok challenge of a dog jumping over toilet paper. Oh, I think he is obsessed with toilet paper. He'll just eat it. So I don't think we could do that challenge. How much does a purebred burner cost and how much did Benny cost? A purebred burner, I would assume... I think like the cheapest you could get one is probably like two grand, but we got Benny off of Craigslist and he was 700 from his previous owner. And he was originally 2000 is what they bought him for. So we definitely got a good deal with him. Does Benny do okay with Florida heat and thick coat? He does, he does do all right. Um, we do, you know, take precautions to keep him from having heat stroke because his breed is prone to heat stroke. This Facebook or this YouTube live is getting real long. I might have to end it soon. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
what's the temperature there? Um, like yesterday was 90 degrees. Today is colder. Um, I don't know the exact temperature right now. Most of YouTube people live in Florida. Hmm, I actually did not know that. We are from Wisconsin though, so. How did you find Benny on Craigslist in Jacksonville, Florida? See, this is what he does all day. This is why we don't need a bigger apartment, because look at him. <laughs> did you ever meet a celeb? No, we have not met any celebrities. I mean, obviously we've met one right here, this guy. He's pretty famous, I would say. <laughs> I think we'll do a few more questions and then we'll probably have to go. So if anybody has any last questions to ask. <laughs> He's a cutie boy. I'll just leave I'll just leave the video like this like all day and people can just watch him sleep all day. <laughs> Benny's favorite food? Oh, he'll eat anything. He loves every single thing out there. He eats Merrick's dog food. We actually were going for on a walk one time and these people stopped him. Well, we get stopped a lot. Everybody always like thinks he's really pretty and want, wants to pet him. But these people are like, oh my gosh, he looks like he could be like in a movie. Which is his favorite kind of rub? Oh, he likes belly rubs. I would watch Benny sleep all day. <laughs> I mean, I could just leave this like this, but... I feel like this would get a little boring. Maybe another live, I will just set it up and like you can just watch Benny be Benny. Like maybe, like I won't be in there. I wouldn't be talking. You would just literally watch this. If, if anybody's interested, let me know. I'll totally do it. If you were to compare Benny to another animal, um, we call him, a lot of them, people call him a bear. We call him an ostrich because he always buries his face. Oh, buddy, you cheered everybody up. We do actually watch Super Cooper Sunday. We love their videos. Benny does do tricks. Um, I actually just recorded a video today of him doing tricks. I will be posting it either this weekend or next week. Yeah, anybody, if you want me to do a, just a live of just him sitting there, um, send a little emoji real quick so I can just get like a, a feel of what people want. We call him Benjamin, Benjamin Wallace, Benjamin. Um, we have lots of nicknames for him. Some that don't make any sense, but. <laughs> Maybe I'll start a little live later today um, of him just being Benny. Okay, but I do have to go for this live right now. I'll try to do another one later of just Benny, um, either today or tomorrow. We'll see. All right.
Okay, I gotta go. I do have Pinterest. Um, you can share Benny's art on Pinterest. Benny's best trick is to train dad jumping. <laughs> we actually showed Benny the jump, but... Please drop a message before the lives. Um, I do normally post on my Instagram or on his Instagram that we're going to do a live, but I will, um, I will try to remember to make a little status on YouTube that we're going to do a live, but I'll probably do one later tonight or tomorrow. But all right, I think we're going to go. Buddies, can you wake up and say bye? <laughs> All right. Oh, there you are. Say bye, buddies. Hey, don't eat your butt. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining. We're going to go now. Also, thank you to the one who sent the super chat. That was very sweet of you. Thank you.